So are the chosen ones being used to judge every demon, every foul spirit, every Nephilim? And it starts off with the lower level angel animal hybrids and it moves its way up through the more intelligent ranks and we are the martyrs that are being used to judge the kingdom of darkness it seems like the major corporations governments are falling on their own and it is being led by social movements that I believe the government is behind and people are following suit um, schools are changing people are becoming more conservative um, religious services are moving online they're becoming less structured more free and open um, information is no longer relegated to a few elite so I see that that aspect of the world is changing on its own the chosen ones are we being used to judge all of the demons all of the forces of darkness and they're going to keep coming up against us and they're going to come through our family members and our loved ones. I have a feeling this could be the case, but I really do hope that when it's all over, we get our family members back. I think that would be the most glorious, wonderful victory one could ever imagine. And I don't expect this to happen because that's something so great, but it's so great that it is exactly what I think God might do. That we'll get back everything we lost. And as I said before, Everything we lost, to me, are the people in our lives. So, chosen ones, we are suffering the most. We are the sacrificial lambs. We are the scapegoats. Everyone is placing their problems at our feet, blaming us. Uh, they don't see the good that we do. They only um, criticize. They exaggerate any negative thing. So say we had no negative intention, we had no ill will, then it'll be invented, we'll be accused, and it'll be spread around behind our backs to everyone that we know. So that's the nature of it. But I believe that God's word is true and we will all be vindicated. And I believe that vindication is coming sometime this year. It could be in the fall as well, I'm not sure. But we must fight and we must pray up.